coach. Good. Um, successful opening start to the season, 6-0 and against quality opponents. You're outscoring your opponents 12-0 to in the first period. Can you talk a little bit about that start to uh, the games? Yeah, um, you know, I think our kids are, are getting ready for that for that first period this year. We're, we're uh, um, I like the way we're starting. I like the way we're preparing. Um, and I think that, that uh, you know, they know the importance of, of trying to get up on a team before, before they do. Um, and I think that that's been uh, one of the things that has helped us uh, so far this year. Filling in some big roles for Falls are leaving last year is uh, Megan Keller. And she's been probably phenomenal so far. Uh, as, as a coach, how would you describe her play? Yeah, I think she's been great. Um, she's been able to, uh, sh you know, she's out there a lot. She logs a lot of minutes. She's on the power play. She's on the penalty kill. Um, we knew we were losing, you know, a pretty good player, very, very good player in Emily Falzer. And, um, you know, we, we were going to need some people to step up, and I certainly think that Megan's been one of those people to do that. Um, and you can see her, you know, her presence on the ice is, uh, is, is, uh, is incredible, you know, especially for a sophomore. She's still a young player, um, but she, uh, I think she does a great job, um, you know, all over defensively, offensively, and this year she's been able to put some in right, right, right away at the beginning, so um, you kind of get that, that little monkey off your back uh, by putting one in and getting a few points. But I think she's been phenomenal, uh, and we see her just continuing to get better. Can you just talk a little bit about your special teams? So far, so good on the season. The penalty kill has been pretty good in the power play as well. Yeah, um, you know, power play is something that we struggled with last year a little bit. And, uh, you know, our kids know that, you know, they, they remember that from last year. So uh, it's been something that I think they're, they're, they're trying to focus on and we're all trying to focus on um, and trying to do different things where um, we create different opportunities for the kids and, and, and hopefully uh, they're able to put some home. Um, and I think, you know, so far we've done that. We gotta, we're going to have to continue to, to – um, you know, I think adjust as we keep moving forward, as teams see our power play more on, on video and whatnot. Um, the penalty kill has been great. The kids have, uh, they've done a great job of uh, staying in front of passing lanes and shooting lanes. And, and uh, Katie Burt's done a great job, especially yesterday, um, in keeping the rebounds away from the front of the net and, and putting them into the corner. So, um, you know, I have been happy with the special teams. I think it's a big, uh, they, I think, both shorthanded and power play are huge opportunities for us for momentum swifts that changes, and uh, and I think that they've uh, they've done a good job so far. So just talking about the team in general, you have Alex Carpenter obviously who has a big target on her back. Katie Burt has been phenomenal since she you know stepped foot on the ice here, but everybody knows those names. Now you have a couple other players stepping up like McKenna um, and some other like Cap Capazano mm -hmm. yesterday with the two goals. So can you just talk about the the supporting cast that's around that team as well? Yeah, you know, Alex and Haley have, have um, uh, you know, in the years past have, have carried that the the load of, of uh, having to be the point producers, and we're hoping that we can get some some other people scoring. And yesterday was a good example of that, where um, other people were able to put put pucks home, and and uh, you know, those kids are going to get targeted, and so other kids are going to get opportunities. I think that they'll open up and and uh, they'll get uh, they'll get some chances, and that's. Part of the reason we have, you know, we have uh, Haley and, and Alex split up a little bit and, you know, to see how that will work for us and, and see if it can help us down the line. Um, but those kids, like, uh, you know, Kristen definitely stepped it up yesterday and uh, was able to put our opportunities home. That was something that we had talked about from Saturday to Sunday is being able to, you know, you're going to get scoring chances. Who can put them home? Who can bury them? Um, and Kristen was able to do that yesterday, and say, so was Kenzie. Um, and so I think... Uh, you know, that's something that we're certainly going to look forward to. You know, we, we want those kids to produce. Megan Greaves is doing a great job of, of putting pucks home. Um, you know, Andy has a couple of goals. Um, and then, and then you know, McKenna has a couple of goals. So, you know, they're, they're all uh, – I think uh, what I would like to see is all four lines getting involved in the, in the scoring and, and really pushing the pace. You have uh, number 10 Cornell, their first matchup of the year, first road test for you guys. Any preparation for that team? Um, really good Ivy League team. Yeah, they're they're uh, you know they're always a good team. They're gonna come. Uh, I think they're gonna um, you know they lost a few of their big guns, but I that still to me you know they're still gonna be a very good team. Um, and I think um, I think our kids will have to be ready. Like you said, from that first period, um, they're gonna have to be prepared and be, and be ready to go. We um, 
we probably won't get video on them. So I'm not, you know, just because it's their first opportunity. So um, we don't know exactly what to expect, but I think we can we can put something together that will help us uh, help us move forward with this team. And um, you know, I know they're going to be good. They're going to be fast. They're going to come hard at you, um, and they're going to put us in positions that maybe we haven't been in yet. So I think it'll be uh, an exciting opportunity, and I think the kids are excited for a road trip. <laughs> it'll be nice to get on the road and do a little team bonding on the road, and and uh, and uh, you know, they might not say that, but I think so. <laughs> Uh, Coach, uh, you talked about wanting the team to kind of clean up, um, clean up play the after their first few games. Uh, and this past weekend, you posted back-to-back -back shutouts. Uh, can you talk about the team's defensive performance this past weekend? Yeah, you know, our our uh, Courtney, our associate head coach, has been doing a lot of work with our defense and in, in, in our D zone stuff, and really trying to clean that area up. And 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 with the goalies as well, we had meetings with them as well. So. Um, making sure we clean up that D zone is a huge, huge deal, especially as you get, you know, get further on in the season. And, um, you know, I think the kids did a good job with it, uh, yesterday and, uh, and Saturday as well. Um, and that'll be continue to be a focus point. I mean, there were certainly times, although they didn't score, cause I think, you know, Katie played really well, um, that, that we have, you know, learning moments from and teaching moments from. So, um, we'll take those and, and try to continue to get better there. And obviously, uh, the first line has seen a lot of success. But can you talk about how uh, we've most recently we've we've kind of seen that second and third lines clicking a lot? Can you just talk about what is why they've been able to do that and what how they complement each other to the players on those lines? Yeah, um, you know, I think uh, I think our second line, or if you want to call it the second line, uh, with uh, Dana, Haley, and, and Kristen, were able to really start to click this weekend. Um, they kind of, I think the first weekend they were together, they forced it a little bit and, and, uh, after a week of another week of practice and, and them kind of getting to know each other a little bit more, you know, playing together, although Dana and, and Haley are in the same class, they really haven't played together uh, on the same line, uh, really in their four years. So this is the first time they're together and learning how to play with Kristen, um, you know, is, is, you know, she's a, a kid that's going to for check and, and create opportunities for them. And I think they have to um, really make sure they read off of that and let that happen. And and I think they were able to do that this weekend where she was able to force some turnovers and, and uh, Haley got some opportunities and, and Dana got some opportunities. She wasn't able to capitalize quite as well as, as Haley did, but but uh, Dana will. You know, she's a very good player, a very good defensive center. Um, and and uh, I hope, you know, I hope that she's going to be able to put some in too for us. Um, and then Andy, uh, Tori, and uh, Megan Greaves. I and mean, Megan Greaves has been playing great for us. She's been creating opportunities, um, not only for herself but for for her line mates as well. And and uh, I'm trying to get all three of them to shoot more, um, so they have even more, uh, you know, offensive opportunities. But um, but we're we're working towards that. And and uh, I think every line right now has been uh, has done what we've asked them to do, you know, uh, Serena Summerfield's line this, this weekend, I thought did a great job in the times that, the, in the opportunities that they got, you know, they were able to hem the other team in at times, they had scoring opportunities, um, and uh, I thought they did a great job for what I asked, I asked of them.